Just got an email from a client asking about a new product that she had seen. This question was about, does Scratch Clear do anything special? You might have noticed that in the last video we did about Scratch, it was Scratch Hydration Peach flavor, I believe. Michelle said that it tasted like vomit. And Scratch's response on my Instagram was to uh, comment and reach out and say, can we send you some more products and see if we can find a flavor that Michelle liked? And I said, yeah, sure, I'll take free carbs and sodium and I'll happily use it. And I said, I'm not gonna be partnered with any company. It has to be totally neutral and be prepared for me to criticize your stuff. And so they sent me one of everything. And so today I happen to have this in my box of supplements that I plan to review with Michelle. So let me just read you her question. I just came across it. I'm intrigued by their claim that it tastes basically like water. That's my main issue with having two bottles of mix. I need something to clear my palate generally. I'm still not sure how I feel about not having a bottle of plain water with me because I often want to be able to gulp something without worrying about if I'm screwing up my fueling especially when it's hot. Curious about their claim about highly branched cyclic dextrin. Do you think this is real? And she linked an article written by Alan Lim, the founder of Scratch. He says, uh, for as long as I can remember, most athletes I worked with or observed in the wild would have a bottle of water along with a bottle of sports drink when training and competing. And that's exactly what I recommend all my athletes do. This was something I went on a personal crusade to change. And while crusade might be a bit of hyperbole, what is not is the evidence that for a sweating athlete, there's no situation where drinking plain water is better than drinking something with a little bit of carbohydrate and sodium. And I totally agree with that claim. I still drink plain water and I just concentrate my carbs and sodium in a front bottle and then chase it with water because like he's saying all of his athletes do, I like the taste of fresh water. Carbohydrate helps to keep blood sugar up during activity and along with sodium helps to facilitate water transport across the small intestine. All totally true. While I haven't gotten fully on board with some of the formulations of Scratch, everything that Dr. Alan Lim writes tends to be uh, pretty smart. He says, replacing the sodium lost in sweat also helps to appropriately drive thirst so that the body can stay both hydrated and in electrolyte balance. Totally true, spot on, hitting the main points that need to be hit. He's a smart guy. The earliest version of this sports drink was the one flavored with pomegranate powder, but when made in large quantities and when the pomegranate powder would oxidize, the drink would taste like processed turkey slices. Certainly, turkey is not an acceptable drink mix flavor, and I would agree, Dr. Lim. The secret sauce of no flavor he continues in a subtitle. HBCD stands for highly branched cyclic dextrin. So he's saying HBCD will mask the taste of fructose, which is quite pronounced sweet taste. He says, from a physiological standpoint, there's no situation when drinking plain water, when sweating and exercising is better than drinking something with carbohydrate and a sodium concentration that matches sweat. And he's spot on again. Thus, the strong desire for athletes to drink plain water does come with a performance cost. And he doesn't mentioned that you can just concentrate the front bottle and then chase it with water. But let's read on. He says, with clear hydration drink mix, we have all the taste and feel advantages of water, along with all the benefits of a sports drink. There is no compromise. Let's find out. Is it true? Does this really taste uh, like nothing? Okay, SIS bottle with, I don't know, 11 ounces of water in it. We have our scratch clear hint of lemon flavor. So as a starting point, add a scoop of mix to an empty 12 to 16 ounce bottle, partially fill with water, shake well, and then add more water. If you're a saltier sweater, add as much as you need without impacting the flavor. Great generic advice to disclaim culpability in GI distress. One scoop in. I'm gonna put on my mountain bike shoes and I'm, I'm gonna go taste it during exercise. Putting the front wheel on. Got my scratch and I'm about to find out if it actually tastes like nothing. And first, I'm curious how many grams of sugar are in this here. So the only two carbohydrate sources are the cluster dextrin, highly branched cyclic dextrin, which is a pure glucose source plus fructose. And I know that it's exactly four grams of fructose and 13 minus four, nine grams of cluster dextrin. So they're saying they can hide four grams of fructose flavor, which is quite sweet, with nine grams of cluster dextrin. So I've got it in my bottle, let's go. Also forgot my SRAM battery. So I'm in a really, really, really big gear. A little bumpy. First drink. Yeah, it kind of tastes like bad lemon water. I don't know, does it get better if I start working harder? I wouldn't call it tasteless. It might be tasteless if they left the lemon flavor out of it. I'm on Marvin Gardens Trail out by Phil's trailhead, trying to work up a little bit of sweat in like a two minute ride. I only have one gear. I'm already winded, getting a little thirsty. Actually, yeah, it's 
pretty good and low flavor. I could probably drink this as my, my water, my fresh water. It is that low flavor. That's pretty cool. They might be onto something here. Probably needs a bit more testing. Yeah, the flavor actually is really mild and I'm trying to think, could I get all my carbs from this? No. Could I use this as a fresh water? I could use it as, yeah, as my supposedly fresh water drink with nothing in it because it is pretty darn mild and it is really refreshing, um, just like water. Amazingly, I'm really surprised by that. Would I use it to meet my hydration and fueling needs on most rides? Since it adds maybe like 25, 26 grams of carbs and have to check the numbers, but maybe 400 to 600 gram, milligrams of sodium per 24 to 32 ounces as recommended by Scratch. You could, I could personally feasibly get about a third of my fuel intake from that in my fresh water and still have it taste like fresh water. Now, would that reduce the concentration of my front bottle meaningfully enough to have me actually choose to use it? Probably not because I don't find the, the flavor of my more concentrated solution to be problematic because I chase it with water anyway the scratch clear mix. You'd have to put four to eight servings in one liter, which is two to four times their recommended concentration to get your total sodium and carb needs for most rides in like two to four hour range. And I, I doubt that it would be quite as flavorless if you're concentrating it to like four X, which I would need to. Not to mention, I haven't looked at the price yet, but I would bet big money that I'm gonna have sticker shock when I go back and look at the price. And my recommendation to my client is very likely to be something along the lines of, yeah, sure you can use it, but it's way too expensive for what it is. All right, let's take guesses on how much it's gonna cost. I'm gonna go with 20 bucks for the package, and the package is half the size of the scratch hydration package. One last tree and a bump. And my camera's still loose. This is not cutting it, okay. So it's like half the size of a bag of scratch hydration and that bag, gosh, I like blew my mind with the price. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with 20 bucks a bag, 20 servings a bag for a dollar a serving or something like that. Let's go find out. And we're home. Okay. Was I right on the sodium? 270, 270 milligrams of sodium, not 280. Resealable bag, 16 servings. 21.95, okay, I was close, but there's fewer servings than I thought. Hint of orange same price so we're talking like buck 25 a serving buck 30 a serving for one tablespoon of sugar and an eighth teaspoon of table salt which costs approximately one quarter of a penny your call oh and how is it after training first taste watery second taste mild chemically third taste light lemon that's it it's not bad. I, I would drink it. If Scratch keeps sending this to me for free, I'll keep drinking it. And it's not bad. Am I paying $21 a package? Get out of town. Most of all, I, I want to say Alan, Alan Lynn is a smart guy. I think their products are beautiful from a business perspective. That is, it makes them a lot of money. Is it necessary? Yeah, probably not. Let me know if you like that format of me just like talking shop while I ride and maybe I can figure out a better filming situation on the bike and get some cool content for you guys. Also, let me know what you think about the format of me answering just my normal client email questions and giving you guys my honest rundown of the rabbit hole information that I find when answering their questions.